right, let me hit you with a cool science fact. Did you know that not everyone has the same type of blood? Ever wondered why that is? Let's break it down. So, basically, blood types come down to tiny markers, called antigens, on the surface of your red blood cells. The most famous ones are A, B, A, B, O. Think of them like different team jerseys. Your body wears one, and your immune system recognizes it as home turf. If something unfamiliar shows up, like a different blood type, your body's defense squad gets suspicious and can attack. That's why blood type matters so much for transfusions. But why do we have these differences in the first place? It's actually a survival thing. Over thousands of years, different blood types helped people fight off different diseases. For example, some blood types are better at resisting certain infections, like malaria. So depending on where your ancestors lived, certain blood types became more common in different parts of the world. And then there's the RH factor. That's the positive or negative you see after your blood type, like O positive, A negative. It's just another marker, and it can also affect things like pregnancy and transfusions. Here's the wild part. Your blood type is set from the moment you're born, thanks to your parents' genes. You can't change it, and it doesn't affect your personality or who you're compatible with unless you're talking about blood donations. So next time someone asks your blood type, you'll know it's not just a random letter. It's a story about your body's history and survival. Science is pretty awesome, right?